In this tutorial, you're going to learn all about MailChimp tags and how to use them successfully in your MailChimp account. This is part of the MailChimp playlist on my channel where you learn everything you need to know to get up and running with MailChimp in your business. That's linked to in the description down below if you want to check out that playlist. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as well. I try to answer them the best I can. And if this is your first time here, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. Any CRM that's worth anything is going to have the ability to tag contacts. Tags are used to organize your CRM. And so an audience is all the people that reside within your MailChimp CRM, within your MailChimp account. And one of the ways to organize them is with tags, another one's with segments, another one is with groups. I also have another video comparing them so you can figure out which one is the right one to use in which situation. Those are all on the playlist that I link to in the description down below. But this video is specifically about tags and there's various ways to add them. If we go to the audience and we go to all contacts, we see tags right here. Tags have their own column by default. So this tag right here, or this individual, was tagged as a home page signup. And I think that might be the only tag I have. This is a demo account. No, there's more. There's a blog signup and a general. Let's see what else we have. That might be all. Yeah. So we have three tags in this demo account: blog signup, general, and home page signup. These will not be the perfect tags for your business. So you have to figure out what tags are going to be appropriate for you. What I recommend is that your tags describe activities that your members in your CRM have undertaken. So for example, if you have a dedicated landing page for signups on your potted plants category on your website, you want to tag them as a potted plant signup. So you know they came from the potted plants category. If you have a category about outside gardening or greenhouse gardening and you have a separate landing page for that, tag them that they came from there, so you know where they came from. Then you can email them based on their tags. So you can send them personalized emails based on what you feel is gonna be their favorite thing. So likely if they, if they sign up through that category, that might be their go-to category for the moment. Those tastes can change. So later on, you could survey your members, because there's also a survey function inside of MailChimp, and then, and then based on the survey results, you can assign different tags. You can also apply tags based on what all people buy from you. MailChimp integrates with a bunch of different CRM software, but even if it doesn't, if you have a lower volume store, say maybe a couple hundred sales a month or a week or whatever, or you have someone does data entry for you, you could easily tag everybody with the items they bought. And so if this contact here is tagged with having bought four of my six offers, four of my six products that I have for sale, I don't want to re-promote the stuff they already bought unless they're consumables. I'd want to make sure that I promote and offer the other products that they have not yet bought. So that's an important way to use tags. So to recap, I recommend you pick tags based on activities people have undertaken on your site or engagements they've had with your business. There's other ways to organize contacts as well, and that's groups and segments. And those are slightly different. Those would be, for example, groups, you would have things like vendors versus buyers or um, free signups versus customers. Maybe you group people like that. And you use MailChimp automations if you have a paid account to move people between groups depending on their activities and engagements with your business. And segments are used to further refine people based on a lot of different things. I've got separate videos for both of those where I go into more detail. Those are in the playlist that I mentioned earlier. It's linked to down below where I discuss pretty much everything you need to know to get up and running with MailChimp. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. So the places you can add tags are right here in the contact list. You can click on the checkbox beside their name, click on add or remove tags. And then we have these ones are default MailChimp tags, high engagement, medium engagement, no engagement. You can create a new tag. This is my new tag. I recommend you keep the same nomenclature as you do for your other ones. So I have all lowercase and underscore for the spaces. We do the same thing here. It's smart to plan out your tags in advance so you're not just randomly tagging everybody. You have tags that make sense for your business. We're now on the tags tab after we add that tag and we don't see our new one here. Let's refresh to see if it shows up. 
I may have pushed the wrong button. Let's try that again. Add move tags. Oh, I click on manage tags. This is my new tag. Click on create new tag or click on the tag in that list and it creates it. And this person is now tagged as that. Tags can get really messy really quickly. So make sure you plan them out. The easiest way to plan them, like I mentioned two times already, is based on engagements they have with your business. Your business has certain engagement points that you create. They could be free opt-ins, they could be giveaways, they could be coupons, they could be products you sell, they could be phone calls you've had. Those are turned into tags so you know who's done what in regards to your business. On the tags tab, we can also create tags here. We see our new one right down here and when it was created, we have some options with the tags. We can send email, so whatever tag someone has, we can send email directly to that tagged group. Tags can be applied to as many people as you want. Right now, this tag we just created just has one person. We can send that person one email. I do not recommend you have a unique tag for everybody in your list because that's unnecessary. Because everybody's already unique in your list, don't tag them. Keep your tags clean. Keep them focused on actions people take with your business. You can rename the tag and delete the tag and export as CSV, which exports all the people associated with that tag. You can also click on view and that shows all the contacts that have that tag, which is just one at the moment. Tags can also be used in automations. If you have a paid MailChimp account, automations are available to you and you could have it so when someone is tagged a specific thing, something happens. For example, they're added to a specific set of emails as in an email campaign or they're scheduled for a phone call or they're referred to a different member on your team for follow-up. So depending what tags you apply, different automations can happen. You can also tag them to be created or to be added to a Facebook custom audience. And that's not for the free account. That's only for the paid account and automations can be found right over here. We'll get to those in later tutorials when we get the paid account. First, I wanna cover everything you can do in the free account with this tutorial series. In the main tutorial that I reference, where I walk through pretty much the entire setup of your MailChimp account to get you up and running, it's linked to the card above in the description down below. In that tutorial, I show you how to create tags through signup forms. So when someone signs up through a specific form, they are tagged as signing up from that form. That's why we have these homepage signups right here. That is the demo form that I created and the demo tag that's used to sign up people and it tags them with that tag. So watch that tutorial to see how to add tags through forms. Another way you can do it is by building landing pages inside of MailChimp. To do that, click on this pencil over here and then click on build landing page. And we're just gonna do a quick demo. I've got a full tutorial on the landing pages inside of MailChimp and how to edit them and use them and everything like that. I'm just going to say this looks good. Here's our form right here. There isn't much to edit as far as tags go inside of here, but you can add different fields and things. And like I said, I've got a separate tutorial showing you the ins and outs of the MailChimp page builder and how it all works. I'm gonna click on save and close for the purposes of this tutorial so I can show you where to add tags. So once we have the page created, and we have a, a link here. Obviously we're gonna create a better link inside the dedicated tutorial. But down here we have an area called audience and tags click on edit audience and we can choose which audience someone who signs up through that form is added to. Currently we only have one in this account and every business should have just one in pretty much all cases. And I've got a tutorial specific to the MailChimp audience, what it means and how it works. That's in the card above in the description down below as well. Over here we have tags. If we click on plus, we can choose a tag that we have. We can choose up to five, just click on them and they're popped right in here. And you can also create a new tag. This is the best tag. And now we have our five tags. That's a lot of tags to be adding. This would have to be quite the comprehensive signup form to have this many tags. And I'm sure you recall my tag recommendations from earlier that I keep mentioning over and over. Make sure your tags are linked to actions people take with your business. So if I was creating this form, this would likely just have one, maybe two tags because they're opting in for something and that's what the tag would be. It would tell me or it would organize them in a way that I know that this person took this action with my business. And this is where you add tags for landing pages. And this would be the URL 
once you have the landing page done. In the separate tutorial that's dedicated to landing pages, I go over setting all this up. And then this is the page you would share with your friends and your customers. And this URL is not pretty. You could redirect from your existing website to here. If you wanted, you could have your domain name.com forward slash such and such. Discount coupon opt-in. Um, Valentine's Day offer opt-in. Whatever you want to call it, you could have it be a pretty link like that and it redirects to here. And that's totally fine. And I have a tutorial on redirecting as well. If you want to see how that works, that's linked to in the card above and the description down below. You can do it with code, not using a plugin. You can also do it with a plugin. I've got tutorials for both. And this is how you add tags in an automated fashion. You can also add and remove tags in the automations, which you don't have access to in the free account, but the automations will automatically add and remove tags based on actions the person takes within your business. For example, if someone opens all of your emails, say they open the last six emails in a row, which means they're highly engaged, MailChimp will actually auto add a tag, the high engagement tag. People who don't open your emails, they'll get the no engagement tag, which we saw earlier as well. People open some of them will get the medium engagement tag. Anyway, there's a lot you can do with the automations that we don't have access to in the free account. There's one last way you can add tags manually. We saw how to add them in the contact list. You can also click into any contact and you can add tags right up here in the top right. And this person right here who is me was added via the embed form which I created in the main MailChimp tutorial that I mentioned earlier. And the tag that was added was this one. And maybe I had a phone call with myself and I wanna say in here, um, phone call uh, successful. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, that tag, but you could add a phone call tag or phone call occurred or, or phone call, I can't think of it. But if you have a company that talks to people on the phone, I'm sure you can think of a tag that you like to add to people who you've talked to on the phone and whether that call went well or whether it didn't. If you have a sales outreach department, or maybe you talk to people on phone as coaching. So maybe you'd want to have coaching call number one, coaching call number two, coaching call number three. So you can get an overview of all the people who fall into those separate categories. So that's all there is about tags. And tags are used to organize your MailChimp CRM. And your audience is everybody inside of that CRM. And other ways you can organize are segments and groups. I have separate tutorials for all those things, for the audience, segments, groups, how to use all of them. This one right here is about tags, and that's all you have to know about tags, what you saw in this video. You just need to start using them, and then you might think of more specific questions, and the MailChimp documentation is very thorough. It'll help you figure out what you need. There's also the help option in the bottom right where you can contact support or use the MailChimp assistant. And if you have any questions about tags that I don't answer in this video and you don't figure out from the documentation, the kind folks at MailChimp will definitely help you. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about MailChimp. I keep referencing this playlist in these videos and it has everything you have to know to get started with MailChimp. So make sure you check that out and also download this PDF right over here. It is the top most important email sequences every business needs. It's a smart PDF, so when I update it and add new sequences, they'll be auto-updated to your copy of this document, which is pretty awesome. And if you haven't done so yet, also click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.